Peace. It's Bronzeburg here with another video. Before I begin, like and subscribe. So, prior to the last video, I've explored where an innocent woman on the NYPD force has been, you know, decided to go ahead and take the case of her being armed by a particular man, uh, Captain Jeffrey Brianza, to court, in which, you know, I, I hope that uh, in those regards she wins. Uh, but I also wanted to explore what it's like on the workforce when it comes to men. And uh, soon I'll be touching on different aspects of institutions to, you know, bring the conversation forward about, you know, the fact of the matter that men can actually be uh, sexually assaulted. And I've, I've even heard cases of a woman forcing a man, a cab driver, to have oral, oral sex on the woman. And I mean, in this world, when there is, there is going to become all this lawlessness and, you know, all these different things out here, you know, especially when it comes to Me Too era, there's still a lot of the times that men are afraid to come forward and say they've been sexually abused by a woman. Because it would be viewed as men being seen as wimps or something like that, because how could you deny sex from a woman? Why do you deny sex from a woman? And which my thing is, every man, uh, every man has every right to deny sex from a woman. He can deny sexual advances. He can sit up there and say, no, I'm not comfortable with this. And no, I don't want to have sex with you. And then there's that third, because women can be aggressive when it comes to those type of manners. You know, and of course, there's a lot of women out here who have the understanding that they could use that against a man. And in fact, the matter that they could be like, oh, yeah, well, he ain't trying to have sex with me, or he's going to have sex with me, or this, that, and the third, or they'll try little things to get the man to become enamored with her in order for her to finally seduce him. I mean, and I know different stories of like when the woman has used her serpent energy against the man. And I mean, even in these music videos, it's very prevalent that the, the man becomes enamored with the, how the woman looks, and she will seduce him and then get rid of him you know, and do all these crazy things. There's going to be a breakdown that I'm going to do, do in um, a series that I'm coming up with soon in which I'm going to be breaking down pretty much a lot of these videos to give the, the, the spiritual meaning to like what it means. You know what I'm saying? And I'm very excited on doing this, but this is not the point. Um, you know, a lot of, I think you've seen in the videos where they brought in, they brought in the, the, um, the breakdown or the, the idea of the Black Widow in which when it comes to the Black Widow spider, the whole entire point is, is that she finds a mate, the mate, they have intercourse and she kills her mate. You know, the, the, the male spider becomes entangled in this, that, and third. And the whole point is, is to seduce the man or seduce the male spider that is and kill him. And, um, you know, this story that I'm gonna be bringing up today is obviously no one got killed. Uh, it's just a fact of the matter that it was just a rambunctious woman on a force and she was just looking to to find some new penis on a on a force and you know she decided to take a very aggressive approach she got sick and tired of her husband her husband was probably a cuck or something like that or just she seemed like the dominant force in a marriage is the point so she wanted to go ahead into the workforce and you know use a whole entire feminist talking points but still wanted some dick on the side so she decided to target someone and this is why i say when it comes to these corporations they're nothing more but cesspools they're high school 2.0 with the added bonus if you are in a specific specific authority or figure, right? That you will use the fact of the matter that you have those labels in order to uh, uh, use it against someone who's on a lower position than you are. And it's very prevalent with both stories that I assess from the Jeffrey Brianza to today's case. So we're gonna check it out. This is an old article from 2018 but I wanna give this in because this proves the point of what I'm saying when it comes to the workforce and just things that men have to look out for, especially when they have work. Shout out to Tina Moore. Panty stuffer, wait, panty stuffing, NYPD boss insulted, little dick cop, complaint. <laughs> and already I can tell this woman is like what they call alpha female nowadays. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to be her age in the 30s, she doesn't look too bad. 
You know, she doesn't look too bad, but I mean, look, and the woman knows that she's a good looking woman. So she can go ahead and use the fact of the matter she's a good looking woman to get over on someone. Okay. So even, even right here, you say, see also NYPD boss accused of stuffing her panties in co-workers' mouth. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You going to go ahead and spend your time of taking your whatever panties and you going to stuff it and do, you going to grab it out your drawer and you know what I'm saying? I mean, look, listen, there's no shot or down my mind that, you know, she's probably into kink and she's thinking that she can go ahead and use a rambunctious force against some random cop that she's interested in at the job, man. Like, this is the stuff that they do. You know, it, it, it goes on with anything, any job that you're with. If you're, um, you know, I know how they use all these sexual acts at work, man. Like, I've seen a lot of stuff happen at work. These women talk all this sexual shit on the job, and then it's their boss or their manager, and this, that, and third. And because they want to get into a higher position, they go ahead and they sleep with the manager and boss, and all of a sudden, they got more hours at work and shit. You know what I mean? I've seen that happen before. Not that I've, you know, I've seen them... Uh, you know, you know, feel like they're not getting enough hours. So they figured, let me cling on to my manager and just give up the panties to him. But um, looking on the opposite spectrum, you know what I'm saying? I, I've seen women, <laughs> women that might have been a higher position use sexual advances. You know, I, I don't talk about this openly. I mean, I don't care, but, you know, yeah, I've, I've seen, I've heard stories. I might have seen myself uh women managers try to put themselves upon me or other dudes out there when they're at work. And it's just like, get out of here, man. I'm not with all that. You're not my girl. I'm not interested in smashing you. You're just someone I see at work. You know what I'm saying? So let me read on. She's the one with a foul mouth. The Brooklyn sergeant accused of stuffing her dirty panties into an underling's mouth called his penis small and subjected him to a raunchy rant about her wild dildo centric sex life, according to a complaint. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like, so you, I mean, look, you have those out there that's covert and overt. In this case, Sergeant Anne Marie was overt. You know, and, you know, like I said, women are pr practically known for you uh, bringing their drama or bringing their dirty laundry into the workforce. They don't keep it private, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, the sergeants like Anne Marie, woman like her in the employment business or whatever, they're looking for they're looking to just get some new penis. I think this is was this is a bizarre case, but you know, <laughs> like <laughs> for what? <laughs> Stuff with your panties in his mouth? This bitch is crazy. Sergeant Anne Marie Guerrera, 38, allegedly humiliated Detective Victor Falcon by telling him that a female love interest likely rejected him because he was lacking downstairs, according to a complaint filed with the NYPD Equal Employment Opportunity Office. And those are, that's, just, that's just some code speak to me sometimes, because it's always one of these type of things that they're just trying to struck up a conversation. And they're trying to say little things like, oh, you got a small dick. You don't know what you're doing with that. And this, that, and third. That's just another way of saying, I want you to fuck me. You know what I'm saying? And that, that goes beyond work. I've known women that play that game. They want to sit up there and talk about, you don't know what you're doing in the bedroom and this, that, and the third, and repeatedly say the shit to make the man say, nah, I know what I'm doing, this, that, and third, you can come find out. It's, it's, all a, it's all a psychological game to these women when they do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They say all that shit, but at the end of the day, when they say stuff like that, that's just mer merely them sitting up there saying, I want you to hit it. Because why would they have to do that? If, if you ain't even satisfied with your own man, and you think he got a little dick. What you think, what you doing sitting up there talking to a random coworker, sitting up there accusing him of having a little dick? That's weird. Sergeant Guerra stated to me that if the girl didn't call me back, it is because I had a little dick. He said in the complaint. Guerra, who allegedly shoved her undies into the detective's mouth after he griped about her leaving them scattered around in a unisex bathroom in a station house, also bombarded him with crude tales about her own sexual conquests, according to the complaint. And this is just a fact of matter that this police officer just felt uncomfortable with seeing random ass panties left around the station house, which I think was her just sending off a signal to him or any male that would take upon the offer of actually wanting to fuck. Cause it's, it's, it's no doubt in my mind, Anne Marie 
will let some dude bang her out after hours. You understand what I'm saying? You know, she just be like, you know, it's been a lot at the office. You know, I'm sick and tired of my little dick husband. You know, I've been fucking him with the dildo and this, that, and the third. I'm looking for some new peen. You know what I'm saying? There's no doubt in my mind. She's just sending signals out there. A wild one, because I've never, look, I've never heard of some crazy ass story like that. Like, you wake up out of your bed every morning, you like, look, I'm going I'm to get my special Vic panties. I'm going to get my Fenty panties. I'm going to take those out. And I'm going to show these boys at the office that might have a little dick or a big dick. I'm going I'm to show them at this office what it's really about. I'm going to show them. You know, they're going to get some of this sexy ass over here. You know what I mean? Shit is crazy. Sergeant Guerra stated that she used a dildo on her husband during intercourse, the complaint states. I mean, look, listen, my whole entire thing, keep that to yourself. That's some business that I don't like to discuss. I mean, honestly, this whole world is being backwards. They're, 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 they're um, opting into these new, and I'm not going to say, because so many people want to run to the excuse about the LGBTQ and the standard threat. I'm not going to use it on that. It's that concept of, um, what you call it, uh, that concept of um, that thing they call pegging. And the thing about it is, is about the man being, it's a, it's a type of kink. Men like, like being, um, having sexual intercourse where their holes is being penetrated. I mean, to, I mean, look, listen, like at the end of the day, that's you and your business. You know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't talk about all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't, <laughs> that's none of my business. On another occasion, she said, that she was home alone masturbating and her husband came home and tried to join. And she said, what the F, this isn't an invitation. See, and that's what I mean. Like this, this chick is just crazy. She's just looking for some new peen, but in an extreme way. You know what I mean? Like, like why? You know what I mean? Like, why? <laughs> and I mean, I've heard stories of women trying to come on to men. Like I've know those stories. I've been at work. And, you know, these women that come on to me and they'll be like, you know, yeah, you know, they say little things like, oh, I bought this new bra or, you know, I got, the, you know, you know, what is it like in this that, and that third, you know, they'll say little undercut shit to basically give on the, the idea that they're sexually frustrated. They don't got no man or their husband ain't doing it right or their boyfriend ain't hitting it right. And this that and the third, they, they, they speak and they make it pretty obvious. Yara, the second in command at the 72nd Precinct Detective Squad in Sunset Park, allegedly flipped out and rubbed her panties on a detective's face, then pushed them in his mouth on October 7th, according to the complaint filed on October 10th. It also notes Yara discriminated against Falcon by denying him accommodation for his special needs kid. Fellow cops have also complained about the sergeant leaving her underwear on the unisex shower knob and outside her locker for all to see, police sources said. Guerra, a married mom of two, has also irked officers by going on man-hating rants and spouting off about colleagues having little dicks on Facebook, a police source said. And that's just one crazy bitch, if you ask me. She's just out of her mind. She's just, I mean, it's all, it's all the same stories, you know, but I give this as a way to look at both spectrums of officers or anyone that's a, a higher position in a particular institution about how they can go ahead and use forces against someone and, you know, come up with all these different ways of doing things just to express the fact the matter that they want to have sex with someone new besides the person that they've been seeing or they've been dealing with for over a decade or more than that. You know, they want to be able to spice up their sex life outside of their own home, you know, and this is why I have to tell men, you have to be very careful. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't advise having sexual relationships nor being in a relationship with a woman for that sort of the manner when it comes to jobs, you know what I'm saying? My thing is when you're about to leave, if you're about to leave and go to a different force or you're going to a different position or you're just leaving a job completely, you know, it's that woman you've been eyeing for a second, she's been leading you on with some type of gestures or saying little things at work, then I can see why it's appropriate. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's your game because I'm pretty sure if Falcon would have took that opportunity to do it, who knows what it could have happened to him? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm pretty sure 
she would have used it to her advantage. And once she would have got stale of getting peen from Falcon, if he was to take up that offer, she would have sat up there and messed his whole life up. Would have sat up there and did little things of cutting down his hours or doing things that he couldn't get an accommodation for, a special needs kid. Would have tried low blow shit is my point. But I want to make this video to make sure men that have the understanding, it's not worth it to get with women at work. You know what I mean? That's the first thing that I wanted to cover. I also wanted to cover about how, you know, obviously this is a, a trite issue, but it needs to be discussed. On the fact of the matter that depending on what position it is, people do abuse their power. And a lot of people already know this. I don't think, I think everybody knows this, but you know, to me, labels don't mean shit. It's just the characteristic. Certain people just act immature on the fact of the matter that they have a higher position or are getting paid a dollar or a cent more than the other coworkers, you know what I mean? But don't you know, be careful out there, man. I, I again I advise brothers, don't don't get involved with relationships at work. I don't I don't advise for it. I think that's one of those sort of things like if you're on your way out or you're being transferred to a different department or something like that, then maybe I could see why it's fit to do that. But you know, I wouldn't advise for it. You know, I say, you know, you holler at people outside the job or something like that. It's to com avoid confusion and avoid craziness like this, which I know Falcon didn't want this to happen, nor did anybody else. But, you know, people like this is crazy, man. And an NYPD is nothing more, or a police department is nothing more but a cesspool from uh, sex magic or people out there to use very extreme demonic forces on a job. So you gotta be careful with that. Peace.